Hey guys, this is Adrian Panko coming to you from the epicenter of the carnivore culture at Panko Strength and Speed. Check us out on the web at pankostrengthandspeed.com. P-A-N-K-O strength, A-N-D speed.com. I got a couple topics I want to discuss today. The first one is in-season training. We train kids in season. Why do we train them in season? They work their tails off for an entire off season only to quit right when the season starts? Heck no, that's the most important part. So we train kids to be monsters all off season and then when season starts and they continue to train, they continue to make bigger gains. They get stronger, they get faster, and they're less susceptible to injury. They crush their competition. See what happens when the season starts, performance levels go down because conditioning levels and strength levels go down. What that does is make their susceptibility to injury go up. We take care of all of that by continuing to fix muscle imbalance, fixing structural and postural deviations, make sure muscles are fully activated, make sure muscles are no longer inhibited, and making sure that we get good oxygenated blood into the muscles so that we can get lactic acid out all during season. Do they have to come in after practice? Yes, they do. Do they have to put in extra time? Yes, they do. Do they stand on the podium after season and are they champions? Yes, they are. Now this makes a lot of people very, very irritated and maybe because I'm a little bit more outspoken about it, it makes them even more irritated. But I don't understand why people do not want to train in season. Why would you not study for tests during the school year? It's the exact same concept. You prepare for the most important part of the school year, your tests, by studying for them. Just like in a sports season, you prepare for the most important part of the season, the competition, the games, the playoffs, and the championships by continuing to train. Now for the next fun thing that's happened this week. We are getting more doubters and more haters and more trash talkers about what we do than ever. And all that does to me is say one thing. We're doing something right. Now the two biggest things I hear about uh, the issues people have with Panko Strength and Speed are the fact that I look like a lineman and the fact that I think I'm not certified. Well, first of all, I am certified. I'm certified through the National Academy of Sports Medicine as a performance enhancement specialist. And what's even more important than that is I've got a practical certification from Martin Rooney. Now, if you don't know Martin Rooney, you can Google him or I'll save you the time. Pariseschool.com, trainingforwarriors.com. He's also the head training consultant for the Gracie family, that Gracie family of mixed martial arts. He produces guys that run four threes like these high school coaches produce guys that bench press 225. And I was with him for five days. And over those five days, we did 16 training sessions, speed training sessions and strength training sessions. And at the end of that, I had to do a practical and a written exam, both right under Martin. So if that's not good enough for you, I apologize. We'll try better next time. Now on to the other matter. I look like a lineman. Well, I didn't know there was a weight limit in life, and for that I apologize. I was unaware that we were going back to the days of junior league football where the big kids had to put stripes on their helmets because they might hurt everybody else, because it's unfair that the big kids play. Here's the deal. You can be mad at me for putting my hand on the ground for 14 years and for wrestling at heavyweight all you want. But the fact is, our kids win. And they win with class, they win with character, and they win with dominance. Two things that support this are very easy. One, I'm standing in a 4,000 square foot room. A year ago, we were training in a room that was twice the size of this green piece of carpet. That carpet is 15 feet wide and it's 48 feet long. And our room was twice that size. A year later, here we are. We've got two pieces of turf. And we've got all this equipment. And we got all this equipment and we've got these two pieces of turf for a reason. I'm blessed to have very good families and very good parents that bring their kids here to train. And then I'm even more blessed to have a great coach in Dustin who helps me take kids to the top. But even more than those two, I'm blessed that our kids come in and they work their tails off and they put the time in, whether it's the sprints, training, 
jumping, showing up or showing up three days a week. Hate me all you want because I'm a big guy. Hate me all you want because you think I'm not certified or qualified. Our college athletes are getting national recognition and our high school athletes are getting statewide recognition. They're playing for state championships. They're playing in national bowl games. They're making all state teams and they're making all conference teams. Why? Because they buy into the carnivore culture. They buy into the fact that if they come in here and train with us, no matter how stupid we are, or no matter how ridiculous we are, or no matter how chiseled we're not, they come in and they put the work in, and they leave champions. And for that, I'm okay because I put my hand on the ground. So this is Adrian Panko from Panko Strength and Speed. We train kids in season. We train kids out of season. We train them all the time, and we take them to the top. And we're two linemen, and we're no skill positions, and we're not sexy, but we get the job done. From the head center, the world headquarters of the carnivore culture, Adrian Panko signing out.